Hey, good evening. It's Wednesday, September 18th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. The passage we talked about last night, Colossians 2.8, is a rich, rich passage because it talks about the power and wonder of Jesus. Let me read the passage again, but I'm going to give you some background material that's right here in Colossians for us. Remember the passage says, See to it, a warning, see to it, strong language, that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. In other words, things that appear to have substance but don't. Things which can deceive us. Make us believe things that aren't true and put our hopes in them. See to it that no one takes you captive through that hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of this world. In other words, a world that is operating without regard to Jesus. And it says, rather than on Christ. Now, why is that such an important thing? Because in, earlier, as Paul is writing this book, and again, this book of Colossians, I love that I, I've got this little Bible here that I've had for almost 50 years. But look, this is Colossians. That's the first two chapters right here, and then we're going to go through and see three and four, and then we're done. Just these few pages, that's all it is. So it's a tight, connect, tightly connected letter that Paul is writing. And remember, he says, don't trust anything that doesn't depend upon Jesus. Well, Jesus is not someone who is confined to a church building or a small prayer meeting or a group of Christians somewhere meeting in isolation. Listen to the way that Paul describes Jesus in the first opening thoughts of Colossians. He is the, invis he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. See, how is involved, how involved is Jesus in this world that we're talking about? Well, according to these opening lines here in Colossians 1, he's involved in everything. Everything holds together by his power. All authorities, that means your boss at work. That means whoever will be president of this country. That means whoever thinks they have power in Congress or power as a, as a judge. They're all created by him and for him. And he's holding them together right now. So now Paul's words here become extremely relevant. Don't be deceived by other sources whose philosophy is hollow and empty because they have no power to back them up. It appears that they do, but they don't. So he says, if those things depend on human tradition and principles, Jesus is the one who puts them all in place. He is the image of God. He is the one who created all the powers and the thrones and the the government positions and the, the business positions, the military positions. Jesus created all of those things. So if it doesn't reference him, Paul says, don't mess with it. When you are receiving information, it's either coming from Christ and a perspective that Christ brings, or it's coming from something that's hollow and deceptive. This is so important. Jesus rules over everything. Right now. It's exactly what Paul is saying. As, as he begins, he's trying to set out the importance of Christ to the Colossian people, showing how important Jesus is. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and earth, whether visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. 
He echoes the words of Daniel. He echoes the words of Isaiah. So, if your information in this world runs through a grid that doesn't include the perspective of Jesus, it's hollow and deceptive. So Paul is saying here, there's two sources of information. Information which will mislead us, or information which will bring us truth. See, even the good things, the good things that doctors do, the good things that we enjoy right now in life, they come from God the Father through His Son ruling over these things. Because all good gifts come from God. Nowhere else. He uses people who may even hate Him to bless us with good things. We have to be rooted in Him. There is no neutral information, no neutral thoughts. Everything is rooted either in a belief in Jesus as the Lord of this universe who is ruling right now, or belief that something else is. And if it's a belief in something else, that's hollow and deceptive. You can't put Jesus in a religious box. Paul tells the Colossians that he's telling you and me, this is all his dominion. And he's reigning right now. That's what Paul is saying in Colossians 1. So he's urging us, urging us here. See, that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. That doesn't acknowledge that Jesus is king, that he is ruling right now. And that it is his values, his truth, his word, his spirit that we have to have guide us. That's what Paul is saying. Because if we don't, we fall prey to a world which is our enemy. He says in chapter 20 of this verse, if, I, if you die with Christ to the basic principles of this world, why as though you still belong to it do you submit to its rules? Don't submit to things that are hollow and deceptive. Find Jesus at the core. Expand our vision of what it means to follow Christ. He's the one behind what works in this planet. And that's our mission. Follow the role of King Jesus. This is what gives us hope and security. Yeah, I love your thoughts and your feedback. This is so important for us. I pray that I'm communicating this well, but if, don't, if I don't, you let me know because we've got to get a handle on this. Look forward to your interaction, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye-bye.